At this time, I'll call the June 27th, 2019 meeting to order for Dixon County Commission. If you would please stand and join in the pledge salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The next item we have is the approval of the agenda, and we have two items that we're going to add to the printed agenda. Uh, the first one is for an EMS station, um, number two, a proposal for repair, and then the other item will be a 10-minute executive session with our attorney, and this will be for attorney-client privilege, and this will be at, uh, towards the, end, the very end of the meeting. Uh, I would move that we approve the agenda with those two additions. I'll second it. We have the motion and the second for approval of the amended agenda. Is there any discussion or questions? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The um, next item we have is a consent agenda. The minutes of the meeting of June 20, this is payroll $400,264.71, the wire payments. This includes to AFLAC $17.34, CAPERS $44,691.16, KDHE $148,747.24. How many we approve the consent agenda? I second it. We have the motion and the second for approval of the consent agenda. Any discussion or anything to set aside for discussion? Otherwise, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Commissioner, comments? Craig, we'll start with you. Uh, I have nothing to say, Lynn. Okay, Ron? Uh, just a retirement ceremony for an employee. It was nice to attend, attend it. And we hate to see these employees leave the county, but we do appreciate the hard work and dedication that many, many do for this county. And uh, again, I want to let them know you sure appreciate it. Okay. And I don't have anything today either. So we'll go ahead on. Uh, there's no petitions or proclamations um, at this time if there's any public comments now we do have a public hearing coming up uh, that's on the agenda so we'll get to that in a minute but if there's any other comments from the audience on anything that is not on the agenda or, or nothing to do with that road you can make comments now and if you do you want to introduce yourself and where you live and um, but if there if there's none at this time we'll go ahead and go to the next portion and this is going to be a public hearing to, on a vacating 2500 Avenue between Trail Road and Vane Road with the exception of the west 600 feet in Noble and Ryan Park Townships. Uh, Brad, before we start the public hearing, do you want to just give a little bit of a summary? Sure. Uh, you had received a petition that was co-signed by Noble and Ryan Park Township uh, boards to vacate uh, 2500 <coughs> Avenue between Trail and Bain Road, uh, with the exception of the western farmhouse 600 feet. Uh, this kind of comes about because of some issues we had in researching this. Uh, we have some conflicting records that show that uh, it, some people were under the impression that the eastern half mile of that had already been vacated. Uh, our records, we can't find the records to show that it had officially been vacated. Uh, so basically, what we would uh, and the western half of it is, is no longer accessible by, or has never been improved, I guess would be uh, a better description. Back in either the 51 or 93 flood, the small bridge that's just east of Trail on that road was washed out along 2500 it was never replaced. So the roadway doesn't provide any, uh, any benefit to the public. As you heard earlier from Mary, uh, there are people that try to go down that road and, and find out that they can't. Uh, it becomes a, an issue with both the township and, and for public safety for people that were, if they were to get out there and get stuck or what have you. So the townships have requested that we officially vacate it. We included the full section just so that we clear up any discrepancies that may have been in place from previous ones that weren't documented well over the decades. Uh, so the vacate is from, uh, if you start at Trail Road, oops, right here, you go 600 feet, which would be just east of, of the Foolie Arts driveway, it would be clear over to, to the west half, the west right of Bain Road. 
notice has been sent out to all the property owners that live within a, a reasonable area of that to let them know that this is on the agenda and anyone that would like to voice their opinion could do so. We did re receive a letter and I think you have a copy of it uh, from okay. one of the property owners that are supporting the late gate as well. So. Okay. So we have kind of the summary of that and as Brad mentioned there was a notice sent out to the public so at this time I'll go ahead and open the public hearing. If there's any comments that anyone would have, they could make them at this time, and you'd want to introduce yourself, say what maybe your address is. And before we get to that particular part, I will go ahead and mention I do have a letter that was sent uh, to the county commissioner, uh, commissioners, and it's regarding the vacating of that road, and um, they're writing in behalf uh, that they're part of the trustee of the Verna Dietrich Trust, and the land borders 2500 Avenue and has been in the Dietrich family for several decades and um, and so anyway a little bit what it's saying um, I just want to maybe summarize some of this uh, in the last paragraph and anyone can this is public record so they could certainly see this letter too uh, just says it seems to me if you keep 2500 Avenue as an open county road you will at some point be required to do improvements to the road of course that would be a great expense for the county it seems to me taxpayers would prefer you use the money to improve accessible roads that we all need to use every every day rather than two miles of impassable wilderness um, and so I ask that you please vacate 2500 Avenue as described above uh, both as a nearby landowner but also a trustee of nearby land and this is from Elizabeth Bolts Morton are there any other comments that anyone would want to make at this time regarding that vacated portion of the road or the portion leading up to it so yes that'd be fine okay. my name is Mary Fulliard I am the little boots you see right there in the first section at 2210 2500 Avenue. Um, from what I understand, the vacation starts just east of the portion leading to me. So it's 600 feet in from Trail Road, which is actually a little bit into ours, which we're, we are absolutely fine with that. Um, we are <laughs> asking, yes, please vacate that in front of our house so people will stop driving through our yard and around our buildings. Um, the portion leading up to mine, I ask that you do not vacate that so that the county and the um, townships can continue to work the drink, the culvert issues and repair that road. Uh, it has not been maintained at all since the road was closed on the very east end of my property. That's where the road closed line is. It's all the way back by the creek. So the entire thing has not been maintained since that happened. Um, the previous landowners we're paying out of pocket to have that maintained. Um, my contractor was one of the ones who were grading. I think Mr. Mr. you said you graded it a few times as well, right? Just with my motor tractor. Doing right. a favor to Mr. Schmoyer. Right, because he didn't realize either that it was still county owned, township maintained. So um, since it has not been maintained, the culverts, the extending culverts were has washed away or leading up to where the culverts are that we drive over. Um, we have the pictures and everything, if you, anyone needs to see them again. Uh, the previous road before the county added some fill, which is mainly just washing away right now. We would definitely like for them to continue addressing that to make it safe so that it doesn't wash out the existing culvert that is still good. Um, so that we can also get deliveries back there instead of having to tell you everything in a quarter mile. So the portion you're referring to would not be vacated if we took action on this, but but it's in a little bit of disrepair where being washed out. So riprap and the culvert and the, there's some issues of, with the road right, and, the and it's a township just, road, correct? Correct. Okay. Correct, and they're they're addressing that, trying to get the right culvert to extend that out, trying to get more fill, from what I understand, and rip, actual riprap, not just dirt and some rocks in it something to try to prevent it from eroding away so soon because what they put in there a good chunk of what they just put in there a couple of months ago is already gone because it was mostly just dirt okay so that's all okay thank you yes sir and probably timely 
since we're looking at that portion, even though it's not part of the part we're going to vacate, uh, to, to bring that up. Uh, because you, you certainly potential for emergency vehicles or any delivery vehicles, like you say, just to be able to safely get to your place. Yes, sir. Um, are there any other comments that anyone would want to make in regard to this road and kind of the same protocol if you give your name and step at the podium and give your address, please? Um, Gary Hausman, I live at 2431-2500, so I'm actually not involved with uh, Right. And you can point yeah. it out, sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. right there. Okay. That's me. Um, now, I'm not involved. I can't remember the last time that road went through. My dad talks about going that way to town but, uh, when he was alive, but I've never known it to be open. Uh, the one you're talking about vacating, which is, so that part's great. But <clears throat> what I'll add is that uh, I think my portion of 2,500 is probably less than half a mile from Bain down to my house there. But it's not well maintained either, in my opinion. Like right now, I've got uh, probably almost a foot deep uh, washout going down, like right where you'd want to drive. You almost have to hug the ditch to get up out of there. Um, a culvert at the end of my lane has been filled in for years. The water runs over uh, the culvert there. And then even up at the corner where Bain and 2500 meet, there's always a big pool of water there uh, because that culvert that I think should run diagonally under that intersection is plugged and not working. Uh, in my opinion, the ditches need dug out going down to my house and that road needs to be maintained as well, uh, but not much really happens. Once in a while, Robert Allen comes down and mows uh, like the ditch, but um, as far as the grade or anything, um, a couple years ago when it snowed a lot, he was down there and cleaned it out. Uh, but otherwise, I haven't seen anything. It's kind of the same thing. I've tried to take care of it myself with my tractor. So, for what it's worth. Okay, thank you. Yep. Are there any other comments regarding an action to vacate the portion that was described? I have a couple of the comments, but it'll be after. It's not on the vacate or anything like this. Okay. So, all right, if there's any, no other comments, uh, this is kind of your opportunity before we close the public hearing, and we are going to have some discussion uh, that's going to follow, so. May I ask only, how does that apply for taxes, or is there any change on the taxes, or anything like that? Since that portion will become, it will no longer be county maintained, county owned, and it will be vacated back to the owners. How does that affect us as far as property tax, okay. or is there any effect? Okay, and I'll go ahead and defer to our county administrator yeah. to answer that. Uh, typically, you you own a property less right of way to the center of the road, is okay. where your deed reads. Uh, you, you really pay taxes on to the middle of the road, however, the part you don't use is minimal. Since this is pasture, I would guess probably an increase to those property owners because you're right, it does it's go back to the ownership to the middle. Okay. Uh, it's probably a couple bucks. I mean, it's okay. very, very negligible very now, if, if any at all. So. Yeah, that's all wooded area. Yeah, yeah. Really, really so it's not really wood. a profitable land or no. road crop or anything, so uh, the, the, the amount that it could increase is so insignificant, you probably couldn't figure it out if there was an increase. So. Okay. Mike Fink, yes, sir. Trustee with Noble Township. Oh, yes. Um, and your name? <coughs> Mike Fink with Noble okay. Township Thank Trustee. You, Mike. Um, the section of Houseman's on 2500, we have a reciprocating agreement with Reinhardt Township. We're, uh, uh, we're going to discuss that after we vacate the road, Mike. Remember, this is just vacating the road. Okay. So we're going to discuss that. All right. Thank you for the comment. But we will. Yeah, we're going to discuss that. And, and yeah. I did. I might mention I kind of opened that up where yeah. we yeah. got into Both. this other, but we kind of wanted to hear that. Yeah. But Sorry. No, no, that's no problem. No. <laughs> I hear you. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close the hearing as far as uh, the comments on vacating that portion of the road that we've described. So the hearing is now closed. Um, I think we can go ahead and hear. Craig, do you have a comment or? No, it, it's uh, vacating the road. It's, I think the other issue is the maintenance of 
between Mary and, and the, the, you know, the Mr. Hasselman's issue, which is not part of the vacating of the road. Okay. And so we, we could act on the resolution to vacate the road and then yeah. go into the discussion as far as the maintenance and the townships. And this is a um, application to vacate 2500 Avenue between Trail Road and Vane Road, less the west 600 feet in Noble and Reinhardt Townships, Dixon County, Kansas. It's resolution 062719. I'd go ahead and make the motion that we vacate uh, that according to resolution 062719. I'll second that motion. We have the motion and the second. Is there any further discussion on the vacating of the road, that portion of the road? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. No. Okay, so now. The other issue. <laughs> well, yes, we'll go to the other issue that's been brought up about, and the portions we're speaking of, uh, both I believe are township roads, not county roads per se, but, um, but you know, still we have an interest when we hear comments on that. So Mike, if you'd want to make your comments at this time, this would work yeah, out. Mike Fink with Noble Township Trustee. Um, I apologize for the lack of maintenance on your road. We have a reciprocating agreement with Reinhardt on that small section of 25 between there. Um, if you're not getting things done, please call and anyway, we'll work with Reinhardt because sometimes we just don't realize how things are in disrepair even though we go out and we drive the roads. Um, but we did the reciprocating agreement and we took over part of Bob Roskin's road in response to trade to save on five miles of running a maintainer. So anyway, if... It, yeah, it's Reinhardt's responsibility. Yeah, and so if you need something, call me or call Jim, and okay. anyway, we will sure address it, you know, to meet your needs. And then who takes care of Bain between like 2450 and 2500? That's Reinhardt. Is that Reinhardt too? Same, same deal? Yeah. Okay, so that road gets pretty bad. 2500 is a township line breaking point. Everything to the south is Reinhardt, and everything to the north is Noble. Right. Okay. Which makes it difficult when you're right on that line. Yeah, and, and I do apologize to you because, like I say, we, we were working with you on that whole deal, and then when we noticed how the line actually went versus where it falls on your property, that's when we got with Reinhardt and started that. So I apologize it took so long, but it took a county engineer to open my eyes to see where the line actually was. So yeah. where it's you're the north side and he's the south side. So yeah. Um, so but you're trying to get that road. Now let me ask you this though, so, and John, Mike or John, what where Mary's at? Whose responsibility is that? Is that a strict agreement between Noble or Reinhardt to take care the of that? Six hundred feet yeah. left is all in Reinhardt. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just the river okay. drags over. Yeah. I, well, I knew what I mean. I didn't know. Yeah. We always, I was, thought, it, we always thought it was half and half, but yeah. You know, we have the river well, actually has it pushed over. We yeah. always saw it as the actual road that went through there. And anyway, right. if you look at the line that's in there, mm -hmm. that actually goes clean across the river oh, yeah. for us, which was really confusing for me. Mm -hmm. So anyway, but I say once I met with the engineer and we looked it over, yeah. we're going to try to get it addressed for you. So. Okay. And I'm sure the rains and weather and so <laughs> on have really um, exasperated <laughs> the situation. The only issue you have, right, Mike? <laughs> 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 we're just trying to fill sinkholes and stay ahead of the game. <laughs> we're failing miserably, but we're getting it done. So. Well, it's good to have the discussion, and hopefully there, you know, some things can be worked on and improved. And Yeah, and like I said, we've, we've met jointly with Reinhardt, and anyway, trying to get things squared away on this, and it's, it's been productive, so. And I know you have your budgets to work with him and things like that, so I mean, it's, it's um, in a reasonable way, hopefully it can be addressed. When Mr. Hoffman came out, the county had brought a lot of dirt and put there and some rock, um, and so we were talking, I was showing pictures, and I don't know if you guys have been out there, I know somebody was out there yesterday. Um, but that's what they put was dirt. And that's of course washed off. There's still uh, there's still a good bit there, but it's still just coming all the way up into the culvert. And what Mr. Hoffman was saying when he came out there, and because when the county puts all of that pack in there, it filled the culvert, and so he had to dig out the trench so it could drain. 
And what he was saying was that we don't need to replace the one actually on the road because that is in concrete. He said that portion, that 10 foot of it, is still good, but it's getting washed out because it's able to come up to it. Okay. I'm going to go back to the that. agenda. But, um, but but what I would like, you know, if you have some of those discussions with the township and maybe something between you all you can discuss okay. and, and, and uh, John Goff is here, he's county engineer and so, you know, as a reference or to get additional information, I mean, you know, we certainly want to make his expertise available to the degree that, that you want to hear it uh, because, I mean, it is really up to the township. Yes, sir. And, and we aren't trying to ever tell a township this is what you have to do or we want you to do um, but but yet you know we all we're all in this together and we work together or, and we're kind of part of a large community together so may I ask one other question on 2500 since this is addressing it it's okay. between 25 and rain I yes. mean between trail and rain okay. we all know that where sage comes down and hits uh, 2500 or goes north and hits 2500 it is a very steep uh, decline going to it and the water just rushes over there even if it's just raining it eats away at 2500 so bad that there's huge ruts there and there's usually you know several inches to sometimes a foot of, of water rushing across right there is it possible to get a culvert there to try to divert that water underneath because the ditches come down and it just hits the road and it's, the water is going to go path of least resistance, so it doesn't make that 90 degree bend to go down the ditches that are filled with dirt. It's going across the road. So is it possible to, for the county to consider putting a culvert there? What we can do is is look into it, and okay. this is something that probably still would go to the county engineer that if he has a recommendation to give us or, or information just to assess the situation but we certainly wouldn't decide on anything without it being right. an agenda item without a report but um, okay. I appreciate you bringing that to our attention okay. and at least we can it's just a dangerous find out some information <laughs> okay. okay I think that's all we have on that and, and and all of you are welcome to stay for the rest of the agenda um, on things we're doing but also quite often if if your particular item is taken care of and you have other things to do we understand if you want to leave before the meeting's over but you're welcome to stay otherwise come on bill bill you ain't got nothing to do <laughs> free lunch thanks <laughs> Okay, at this time we'll go ahead and move to our reports of county officers. Um, Brad, if you'd give us your report at this time. Yes, uh, good news is uh, we earlier on Monday we received a building permit for the jail and uh, courthouse renovation project. Uh, so we now have the Adelaide City building permit completed. That's a big milestone for us. We've also received approval from the State Fire Marshal's office. Uh, they've given their blessing on the jail, which is required on all detention facilities. And uh, we've got the, the finalized uh, site plans done for the, the uh, dirt work and stuff around. So with all that, uh, Lloyd Bill is sending or has sent the information out to the bidders to get a, a newly uh, revised bid with the changes on the site work. And uh, next week we should have that stuff back so we can uh, take a look at it and come in and meet with you on the uh, 11th, or, 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 what did we say, the 17th, 17th. 17th yes. at 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, correct. Okay. Made that note there somewhere. <laughs> so at that point, we'll go through all the bids and, and all the, uh, the bid uh, yeah. groups. Yeah, and uh, the, the objective at that meeting is for you to receive those and approve them and sign the uh, agreement with Lloyd Builders. They, once they give us a guaranteed maximum price to get the project moving. That's the, the day we've been looking for for a number of years. So, uh, our crews, talking about roads and bridges, we've been very busy. Our crew started on uh, Monday morning at 1400 Avenue and Rain, and they are overlaying uh, asphalt north. They'll go to Chapman and then they'll go back to the South Bend Lane. And once that's done, they will move over to Eden Road at 1400, and they will go east until money runs out, honestly. 
We're hoping we make it deep there over from there over to the bar. But with uh, with the changes or the budget constraints we've got, uh, you know, we're and they're monitoring on a daily basis. So we're not really running out of money in this budget to uh, in the asphalt line now as much as we can. So, uh, John and I were out looking at Monday morning, or I guess it's Monday afternoon after we've been going, and the guys are doing a good job. So, uh, with some decent weather, hopefully it'll, it'll continue on getting done. So, the asphalt portion of the roads that we contracted with APAC Shears in the south end of the county is scheduled to be painted maybe starting even tomorrow, but for sure Monday the, the contract is supposed to begin and start striping those roads, so they'll get that done. The paint, I think, arrived yesterday, and so uh, he usually comes in and he's in within the next day or two to get it going. So, And that, we know from past experience that that's a very important component to the public is make sure those stripes are on the road. So, uh, I already talked about Lloyd Builders coming in on the, on the 17th, so I think we're good to go. Does she have any other, other uh, questions? <laughs> Okay. Um, Doug, would you have anything for us this I'll time? I'll a couple of things uh, before the uh, attorney-client uh, conference. Um, let's see. We've seen the request for payment from Geary County for the executive director's position for community corrections. And uh, that would be consistent with what uh, one of the meetings we had before. It would be consistent with the meeting that Craig and I was at with uh, the uh, change over there. So unless you have questions about that, I'm assuming that that's a bill that just needs to be paid and worked through. But that's the Dickinson County portion of it. I today received the second packet uh, for the tax packet for 2019 tax sale. So we will now begin to go to work on the tax sale for 2019 for those parcels of real estate that have fallen into a period of arrears, and now we move forward with that. Tax sale's not set, but now I have the information from both title companies, and now we will proceed with beginning that process. So we'll probably be looking at a tax sale here later in the year, uh, probably November, December. That's all I have till the attorney client for the information. And I need to get the bill from Gary County, we've got the process for Good. Okay, we'll move on to notices and communications. Uh, we did receive a letter uh, regarding the, uh, the fair uh, for Tri-County, and Thursday is their PRCA rodeo, Friday they also have a ATV rodeo, demo derby, and they have sent us some buttons, and so we can go ahead and um, attend the events if we're able to. And um, so, so anyway, we're one of the sponsors of Tri County, and I know that's a, a really a big event for people uh, in the county and also in the Harrington Tri County area. Um, I don't, Ron. You usually attend that. I don't know if you, if you want to add any comment to the notice we received. Uh, they, they sure, uh, they sure would uh, like to see a lot of participation in that, and uh, all is welcome, obviously. And it's a good event to get out and see what's going on. So. Encourage everybody to attend. Okay. Thank you. And uh, then we also, County News, received our letter from them. And uh, that's all I have as, as far as uh, notices and communications. Um, so we'll go ahead. There's no additional resolutions. We did have one addition to. Uh, actually two additions to the agenda but one of them we'll consider at this time is the EMS station has a proposal for repairs and Brad would you go ahead and summarize that for us yeah. <coughs> as best I can uh, over the past few years a uh, number of years we have noticed uh, some issues that have developed at EMS station 2 in Harrington uh, primarily or, or initially the first issue we noticed was the center wall through the building was uh, was settling, causing doors not to shut properly. And we adjusted doors, we actually trimmed doors, we cut doors off several times, and it's continued to occur. And now we've noticed that the front overhead doors on the uh, ambulance bays 
on one side has settled tremendously, and it's the side toward the middle of the building, so also it's indicative of that center center wall that is settled. Um, we had engineers look at the uh, original design plans. The company that built the, the building went out of business shortly after it was built, and we've had uh, engineers uh, look at the design plans, the original design plans, and we've contacted a company out of Wichita that is called Thrasher Commercial. And they specialize in uh, raising foundations and things of that nature. They've been in, looked at the plans, looked at the problem, and have come up with a, a, a scope of work to repair and uh, the problem and prevent it from occurring any further. Uh, and essentially what it is is they would dig down with some piers and go down to bedrock to uh, stack the piers on and then they would, using uh, polyurethane foam, they would inject that in the ground to raise the floor and the, and the walls up to where they should be. Uh, and then they would uh, pin those piers to the, to the wall so that they won't sag anymore and uh, fix the problem. So uh, it's not a problem that we want to have. It's one of those things that is unforeseen. We don't know whether the problem is because of the the, the geology in the ground underneath has, has just allowed it to sink or whether the work was inferior at the time it was built. Bottom line is we've got a problem we've got to solve. Otherwise, we, we learned the, the initial, I guess the initial issues we developed were on the roof about five or six years ago. We had leaks in the roof and, there, and we had somebody get up and look at it internally and the, and the boards and, and sheeting was separating from the rafters. So. Uh, and at the time, we didn't know why, but then when the door started to become a problem, it became very apparent why it was dropping in the middle. So the bottom line is uh, the bid from Thrasher, which is the only company we've been able to find the last couple of years that would do any work like this, is uh, $65,250 uh, to come in. It'll take them about two weeks to complete the work. And they can start the second week or the end of the first week in August and complete it. We've got. Uh, plans where we can relocate the staff down there for that two weeks uh, and continue to function and uh, there will be a little bit of added cost outside of this this price to replace the carpet because they have to take the carpet out to do the work uh, and then also to replace a move and replace a sink that has to be, be moved out of the way to, to do the work so it's our recommendation that we'd like to bullet and move forward on it and get the problem taken care of. Okay. Any questions from the commission? We can consider a motion for approval. I'll make a motion to accept the Rasher's bid of $65,250 to uh, uh, repair the, uh, the uh, emergency station in Harrington. Second. We have the motion and the second to approve that bid from Thrasher Inc. $65,250. Um, any other questions or comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The other item we have before the executive session would be to authorize uh, that I come in and sign the fund expenditures due uh, since July 4th is our scheduled meeting and of course being a holiday we will not meet so I would need to come in uh, and take care of that and so is there a motion to have that I would do that? So moved. I second it. We have the motion and the second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, at this time um, we have a, an executive session. Uh, it's attorney client privilege. Um, I'll go ahead and make the motion that we enter the executive session at 1135 for 10 minutes. Attorney client privilege. So Doug Thompson would be present along with the commission and also uh, Brad Homan would be present. I'll second that. Okay, we have the motion to second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I mean, at what time are we starting this? 1135. 1135, okay. Okay, well, I'm Okay, it's 11.45. I would move that we re-enter into regular session. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Motion and second to re-enter regular session. The executive session's closed. Um, 
All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, if I don't believe there's any other business or any other comments that we need from our administrator or attorney. You might uh, future meeting agenda items. And oh. Okay. We do have on July 11th, uh, we're going to consider on the Kruger subdivision, and this is on the, uh, it's going before the planning. Commission and there's also a public hearing July 11th. This is to uh, vacate 800 Avenue. Um, July 17th, we're having a special meeting and we're waiting to confirm unless we've heard back from them, but we will uh, probably be meeting at 9 a.m. July 17th um, and we'll advise if there's any change on that time, but just to review with Lloyd Builder Builders, the jail project. Uh, there's also the commissioners have all received an invitation to the 4-H picnic and that's July 9th and I do plan to attend that so I think and I'm sure the others will yes. uh, most likely so we'll have that posted I believe that's all is there a motion to adjourn so moved second it. I have a motion the second to adjourn any discussion all in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed motion carries we're adjourned